Normally when Bungie announces a new set of content, I'm really excited. And that's not just because Destiny is a game that I play a lot, it's because I'm interested to see what Bungie is going to do next. Bungie has managed to translate the FPS into an MMO FPS and one of the very first good multiplayer ones that has been around for a while. Now, just to see what decisions they'll make with this new Sparrow Racing thing, I'm really interested to see where this goes and what the backstory is. Most of you don't know me, but I have the opinion that Bungie's initial statements towards Destiny were a lot more overblown than what we actually got. The full game was very short, but it opened up way too many books for us to read through in a single sitting when it comes to the amount of things. It's just a lot going on, you have the darkness, you have four alien races, five technically now, and it's all just a smorgasbord of different things going on and I can't really fault any decision making on this front because it's not about the amount of stuff that you throw at the individual it's how you do it as long as you can throw a lot of content and actually make it coherent then the amount of content you're throwing at someone even if it's just story content then they can handle it but what Bungie has seemed to do is they have this huge universe and they segment it. It's segmented and it's all of it seems to be locked behind certain doors that should be unlocked by the players. And those doors seem to be able to be unlocked with a certain amount of IRL money. Now, the new content coming out, which is the Sparrow Races, directly throws that out of what we've normally seen. Is this a byproduct of Eververse, or is it just a planned thing that was originally going to be in the game anyway? Now, I don't believe that it was originally planned. I think that they saw feedback, and they are genuinely working on that feedback to get more sales, which is exactly what a game does. That's what Activision would like, more sales, that's what Bungie would like, more sales. And you can see that there's a sort of decline in Destiny players. A lot of videos around the time that this video has been made are talking about, is Destiny dead? Now, I wouldn't be on that bandwagon had I not seen all of those videos. I thought the game was getting a little dry, but when I saw those videos on how dry the game was getting, I started to notice subtle nudges on Bungie's end of things. Mainly the refer a friend thing. That came as a surprise to me because I don't really know how that system works. I've never actually thought of referring a friend to Destiny because everyone who I knew play who were played Halo back when I did was already planning on getting Destiny to begin with. I don't know how you can dig into a new market, but it seems like racing games might be the next new thing. Who knows? Bungie has been very tight-lipped about this in the past, and only a few weeks before it gets out are they saying anything solid. Now, Bungie's first free DLC is a Sparrow Race, as I've talked about before. Now, there's only one thing that I'm really interested in seeing. When you look at the previews for the Sparrow Races, you see it happening on Venus and Mars, two planets that are under the full control of the Minions of the Darkness. All of these, pl that makes this a place that's very, very dangerous. And I'm not sure that going onto these planets to hold races is in the best interest of the Vanguard or the Crucible Quartermasters or Shax, Lord Shax. I'm not sure if that's the best thing to do with your resources. I'm not sure how they're gonna make this work. Are, is it technically like we'll set out an area that we need to clear out and you just go through it and just keep the enemies clear with your sparrow? I don't know the backstory, and that's what I'm so interested in, is hearing the backstory and how this canonically fits in. Will there be new Grimoire cards? 
with the racing gear, with the new sparrows, with the race tracks. There's obviously a lot of companies, in-game companies that are backing this, such as Suros, Hake, Amalan, all of the gun companies seem to have their logos plastered all over the walls and they have monitors and there's flags, there's everything imaginable on these racetracks to make it seem like there's a lot of stuff going on. Unlike normal racetracks, there's not that many people watching. I would think, I'm always a proponent that Earth should be looked at more. The last city is what we're protecting and that's where we should be the most. We, we as Guardians always look at the last city and it's just sitting there, always underneath the Traveler. We never get to see it. Racing in the last city would be exciting as hell. What I'm wondering is how come we can't see that? How come we can't go down into that that place that's like filled with faction warfare? There's people, there's problems. How are we gonna solve it? We as Guardians protect the city. This could have been a good segue into how we benefit the people directly. Now. I'm always going to theorize about these things, but it just doesn't make sense to me canonically, and as I said, I'm really interested to see how this will play out in the storyline of Destiny. And it's also an interesting move from Bungie's side, because they're moving away from that weird pay for DLC every few months model, and there's a lot of stuff that could be coming up in the future. People are starting to mention Destiny 2 now, I'm not sure how far that is from being here, because it used it looked like there would be a Comet DLC, the original payment plan, I haven't really seen any updated payment plans, but it looked like there was going to be the main game, which was very small, and then there's two DLCs, which made the game a little bigger, and then there was a Comet, quote unquote Comet DLC, which would make it a little bigger, and then two more DLCs, and then a full-fledged additional game to the franchise so let me know your thoughts in the comments remember to like comment favorite and subscribe and i hope you all have a nice day